This is Movie Tone. Geoffrey Sumner reporting. Throughout the Royal Tower of the Western Isles, as for example from the fishermen at Loch Maddy, there was a great welcome. The curing of herrings came in for close scrutiny, as the Queen and the Duke had a good look at one of the most important local occupations, the fishing industry. It goes without saying, of course, that another major industry of the islands, the manufacture of their famous tweeds, also received close royal attention. One of the several gifts accepted by the Queen was a length of Royal Stuart Tartan, a North Uist product, hand-woven throughout and a splendid souvenir of the tour. At Stornoway, the Duke of Cornwall and Princess Anne made their own rather exciting inspection of the lighthouse at Tiumpen Head. The young prince sounded the first blast on the new foghorn and excitedly explained the niceties of foghorn sounding. Both the royal children, in fact, were having a fine time. Meanwhile, Thursa's new lifeboat was at Scrabster Harbour for her naming by Queen Elizabeth, the Queen Mother. She named the magnificent vessel Dunnet Head. Afterwards, the Queen Mother enjoyed a short trip in the boat. Finally, Britannia arrived at Leith at the end of the royal visit to the Western Isles. It had been a unique tour, an unforgettable event for the people of the remote islands to be visited by their queen. After Her Majesty had disembarked, the royal children, under careful supervision, had a grandstand view of all the proceedings ashore. With terrible